Hi, Ricardo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you awesome. hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you. Yeah. I just dropped you a message on Slack. I won't be able to be unmuted very much. So will you be able to run the meeting today? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, wait for some more people to show up. Yeah, we... this is my first uh, time attending this meeting. How many people do we normally get? I noticed there were very few on the invite list. Yeah, so we, we've been getting like maybe six to eight people. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But uh, today there's uh no presentation on the agenda so i don't know we might not get uh, a lot of attendance Hey, Quentin, are you there? Yep, I am. Hey, so I was just wondering uh, if you have any um, thoughts on on getting more participation, basically, on getting some of, more of the folks um, involved. Uh, I, I mean, we've been, we've been kind of a little bit light on, I mean, I know it's kind of early. The, the SIG has, in, has, you know, what, like two months. Uh, but you know, I'd like to get your thoughts on more participation and what, if you have any. Yeah, I was thinking thinking along the same lines actually. Um, so I don't know, I haven't looked recently uh, how many people subscribe to the mailing list, um, but I don't know if there are people on the mailing list who perhaps are not on the invite because of the invite problems that uh, we discussed the other day with Amy. Yeah. Um, so, so that would be, I think, the first thing is to send invites to all the people on the mailing list. <clears throat> and then uh, beyond that, I think we should uh, post to the TOC mailing list because um, there are a lot of people there who are interested in what the TOC is doing, which is, you know, basically what the SIGs are doing and uh, plus, plus the TOC. So I think those would be the two first steps I would take. Uh, okay. And we'll see what, what kind of response comes out of there. Okay, great. Anyway. Yeah, that sounds good. So I'll, I'll send out an email to the TFC mailing list, um, asking for more participation and see if I can. So we, I think we, we were added to the meeting. So um, I'll go ahead and see if I could send the invite to the whole mailing list. Uh, I, I don't know how many we have. I think uh, uh, maybe we have around 30 because on the Slack channel, we have about 30, 31 people, right? But, uh, but um, We've been kind of light. I mean, I've looked at some of the other groups and they've actually getting uh, more more interest. Like, uh, for example, six observability. They're not even created, but uh, they already have a little bit more participation. So, 
Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I've been pretty slack for the last several months. I've, I've been on vacation and then changed jobs. And uh, so my life has been a bit busy. Um, so yeah. I will be able to get a little more involved from now on. Uh, maybe you and I can sit down and uh, put together a kind of an agenda for the next few months. Uh, there's quite a lot of stuff that we need to do. Um, yeah. We just have to kind of get a bit organized, I think, and I, I'm partly responsible for that. So maybe you and I set some time out in the next two weeks and we put a plan together and publish that. Um, and then, in fact, maybe hold out on the uh, email to the TOC mailing list until we have that sort of plan of action for the next few months. Um, what you can do in the meantime, though, is definitely invite those 30 odd people that are on the mailing list or the Slack channel that haven't got the invite yet, because I think that's just a technical problem. Uh, the, the invites don't go out automatically. Uh, and so that's yeah. why we have, uh, that's one of the reasons why I've been missing these meetings. I actually wasn't sure when they were, they weren't in my calendar, etc. Got it. Got it. And I suspect other people may be in a similar position. Got it. Got it. Yeah, that sounds good. So are you, uh, do you, do you want to set up a meeting then it's like later on? Uh, you're local in the Bay Area, right? So maybe we can, if you want. We yeah, can that's talk. right. We can meet in person if that works. Uh, I'll get, get you on Slack and we'll put, put a time together. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, a, I'm in some detail. So I'll be happy to meet for coffee or something. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah. So we have somebody else on the call. So Pranay, uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, hey folks, hi, uh, this is Pranay. Uh, I am from Bangalore, India. Uh, I was just trying to understand how does the Kubernetes ecosystem work and I thought I'd jump on one of the community calls. So yeah, uh, uh, just like very noob to the whole ecosystem. So yeah, that's probably it. Great, yeah. So we we are part of the one of the uh, CNCF six uh, six runtime. So there are several six. So runtime is more um, targeted for uh, how uh, you run things in in cloud native environments, right? So uh, you know Kubernetes, containers, uh, AI type of workloads. So so different different ways of you can run things in cloud native environments. So and so if you have any any uh, interest in that, you know, it would be great, you know, to have your participation and uh, yeah. And if you know anybody else who might be interested to the, uh, yeah, we'd, we'd love to have more people involved. Mm -hmm. And uh, how do these uh, community calls work in general? So I saw, I saw the document, uh, but uh, there was no detail field. So I'm not sure uh, like, like on a typical meetup or like typical call, how does things happen? So generally we, we come up with an agenda. So the agenda is uh, uh, built by the community. I mean, there there are sick chairs and the sick chairs can add some items there as well, but, uh, or, sick, or tech leads in, in, in the sick, but um, our community is also open to, to add items there if they want to discuss anything, right? So, Related to the SIG, right? So in this case, it's SIG runtime. Okay. Got it. So I guess uh, so. We uh, don't we don't have any discussion items for today, or no, we we don't. Actually, well, well, I actually added a few items. Uh, so we finally merged the the PR for our charter. So uh, thanks, Quinton, for uh, finishing that up, and. Yeah, so we're looking for more people, and and then the the other update is that we have um, uh, KubeCon postponed uh, until July, August. So there, there there was a lot of talk in the community uh, about you know maybe canceling it or or what was going to happen because uh, of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. So the CNCF actually came out with a statement yesterday about postponing it until July or August. Uh, and then so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll have uh, enough people around that time so, so we can have some sort of meet, uh, meeting with uh, the SIG runtime uh, community. Got it. Yeah. Cool, so uh, do we leave now? Or... Yeah, yeah, so perfect. Quinton, do you have anything else or we can just... Uh, Okay. Yeah, while the question's out there, uh, I thought I would just add to what you said, Ricardo. So 
So our primary functions are, um, so there's a set of areas that are covered by the, the CNCF that are within the scope of the SIG. So there are about six or so, seven SIGs, um, uh, networking, security, storage, uh, runtime, etc. cetera. Um, and our primary responsibilities are, um, so firstly, to, to communicate with the public uh, all of the kind of information relating to those areas. Mm -hmm. and, and that comprises existing projects in the CNCF. So in our case, that's Kubernetes uh, and anything related to containers, container registries, container runtimes, uh, et cetera. And then also to plot out a sort of like a future um, course for the CNCF within that space. So if we feel, for example, that there are areas that we are not covered by, so we we missing projects in particular areas, if there are particular interesting projects that we believe would benefit from being in the CNCF, uh, we can proactively approach them about it. Uh, and conversely, any projects in our area that that want to uh, engage with the CNCF. The first point of call would be the SIG. So they would, for example, perhaps present their project to us, explain why they think it should fit into the CNCF, um, those kinds of things. Uh, and then, of course, the health and welfare of the of the existing projects. Uh, so doing things like if they want to graduate or, or move from, uh, you know, uh, the earlier stages to to incubation and graduation, we are uh, the people responsible for helping them do that. Um, uh, and also just generally making sure that they're happy and healthy and getting what they want to out of the CNCF. And if not, we are sort of the people responsible for identifying problems, bringing them to the attention of the TOC or resolving them ourselves. Okay, got it. And uh, just uh, one question. Uh, are the meet videos of the last meeting published somewhere? Like if I want to see how do the other meetings go, is it published somewhere in YouTube or Vimeo or somewhere? That's that's correct. Yeah. So the the um, the meetings are posted on the CNCF's uh, YouTube channel. So this meeting will be posted there. So any other previous meetings are, are are also posted there, and also all the other meetings from the TOC and the meetings from all the all the other six. So if you want to catch up with some of the items, you can you know go there and 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 watch the meetings. Okay. And Ricardo, have we been publishing uh, written minutes? Uh, no, we have. Uh, uh, we we're looking for some uh, participation in that area, basically. So, in terms of uh, having scribes, um, and then and yeah, yeah, that's the other item that I had uh, in mind uh, for uh, you know to discuss. Um, so I know that I know that six security has been doing it, uh, but uh, some of the other six I haven't been doing some of the minutes because I think uh, they, they probably need more participation, right? So uh, somebody needs to run the meeting and, and then uh, somebody needs to be um, listening to what's going on and, and typing uh, the minutes. Okay, so I think that that's a to-do item for you and I is one to, until we find somebody to, uh, between the two of us, keep the minutes up to date and, and yeah. also find someone who can do that or, or we, Ideally, more than one person who can rotate doing that job. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. Do Do we have any volunteers on the call? I don't think we do. So, <laughs> so, okay. uh, so I, uh, so if we're on for next meeting, you know, e either you and I can do it. Basically, that's what I'm thinking, right? So that also, if we have uh, more people, right? So. I mean, for in the past, it's, it's just me running the meetings, right? But if we have somebody else, and then and, we'll, and as as we get more, more more participation, we can get more help. In all honesty, um, that's actually totally in line with all of the rest of the SIGs right now. Um, like SIG storage has their agendas and their recordings up. Um, SIG security is the only one that's really big enough to be able to have like scribes and like big working groups. So I would kind of put that on like a back burner, like as you get more people in here. Um, and I'm more inclined to be able to focus on being able to get the project reviews um, kind of like, and you guys have done a fantastic job of being able to make sure that the project reviews are happening on a regular basis and that things are moving in here. So focus on that before you focus on like meeting minute notes. All of these are recorded. It'll be fine. Cool. That's a, 
swoop in and like hi yeah <laughs> yeah 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 quentin do you have any thoughts on that or, or, or... no no that sounds great uh, i personally am one who kind of likes minutes because it's good to kind of condense uh decisions taken um you know most important points i think forcing everyone to to watch a one hour video to get you know a few decisions or salient points is rather arduous on the viewers but yes i mean it's all academic until we have more participation so let's focus on that sounds good okay cool uh, thanks very much see you guys in two weeks and hopefully right. yeah ricardo and i we, we'll get together before then and and uh get some more participation and get a bit more organized with agendas and things cool great sounds you good get stuff on the agenda for next time have fun <laughs> all right. bye all bye